So we have a new asset that they got at a cost of 774,000. Yeah. It was estimated to have a service life of 20 years and a salvage value of 60,000. And we're just gonna do part A, the sum of years digits. And the thing that makes this hard is that it was purchased on April 1st, not January 1st. Yeah. So yeah, this is where the- So we have the prairie pro comes into play? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So- the Cost is uh, 70, cost is 774,000. Okay. And then the salvage value is 60,000? Yep. Okay, and then uh, our estimated useful life, that was, One years. Okay. So first we need to find our depreciable base and we find that just by subtracting these two. And that'll be seven fourteen. And then we have to find the ratio that we're going to use. Okay. Our link. The this denominator. <coughs> and this is the new, we haven't talked about this one? Or some of the sum of your digits? Some of your digits. So, uh, let's see. We have to find our denominator, and that's the n times uh, n plus 1 so that was divided by 2. And that changes every year? Yeah, it's going to start at 20 and then decrease each year until we reach zero, I guess. So we go 20 times 20 plus 1. Mm, yeah. I got 210. down here and do our date and then uh, the depreciable base and our ratio okay because okay gotcha okay So our depreciable base is just going to be the 714, and that's not going to change. And then our ratio for this first year is going to be 20 divided by the 210. Wait a second. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's okay. see. So you got... Okay. 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 And then we're going to multiply those together to get our annual appreciation. Is the 20 or 210, that's the... Or is that a... That's our ratio. Oh, so yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. So this would be from April. So we have to figure out the pro rate from April. So it's yeah. April 1st. So 
So it's gonna be it's gonna be nine uh, to twelve. Yeah. So right? it'll be nine divided by twelve. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be or like seventy five percent. Yeah, seventy five percent. Perfect. And so, um, what you can either do in this case is find this annual amortization or wow depreciation, <laughs> or you can just like ignore that column and just multiply the 714 times your ratio times your pro rate to get your reader's depreciation. Mm -hmm. It'll be the same either way. So do we not really need the annual? You don't have to have it, but if you did, you would only multiply the pro rate times the annual amount. Uh, the annual is always times the Okay. Yeah, because when you multiply these together, it's going to give you the annual. Mm -hmm. So this is just kind of splitting it up. But yeah, we can ignore the annual for now. And then 714, is this one, is the depreciable base change or it stays the same? It's going to stay the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm um, just ignoring the annual. We should get a year appreciation of 51,000 and then for our next year um, our appreciable base stays the same and because we only use 9 twelfths up here we have to use 3 twelfths of this ratio down here so for the first part this 20 divided by 210 is going to be the same. And then we're going to do a second, um, the second part of the ratio, and make this 19 over 210. And then this will be prorated for 9 twelfths. And so to get your total year's depreciation, you would just multiply both of those and then add it together there to get your total year's depreciation. Because, oh, so it's still, you get the full year and then the next full part year. year. Yeah. Do they carry on to the next year too? Yeah. That makes like it complicated, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> the January 1st ones are great. <laughs> yeah, they are. But yeah, that's a really important concept to know.